ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, just in case you missed part one of Circus Tales, here's what happened. Our story started at Carriage Brothers Circus. The children loved the circus, but the animals hated it. They hated it so much that Simon the Tiger and his pal Spanky organized a breakout. Spanky piled all of the animals into his little green clown car and drove them to freedom. Then Spanky told the animals that to survive in the real world, they needed jobs. Simon became a stand-up comedian. Michael became a restaurant manager. Leslie worked at the library. Neil became a school teacher. And Elliot worked at a peanut factory. Amazingly, the animals went unnoticed for nine months. Unfortunately, their luck changed one day when the police tracked them down and apprehended them at Taco Queen. Some hilarious dialogue was exchanged and the animals were taken back to the circus. It didn't take long for the animals to become tired of the circus again. And it didn't take Spanky long to come up with a new plan. It was supposed to be the perfect plan. Spanky and I had been over every inch of it and it was time to bring the other animals on board. Now look guys, if everyone plays their part, the plan will go off without a hitch. I don't know about this. It's scary out there in the real world. Don't get scared now, Elliot. I want out of this circus like yesterday. How do we know this plan will work any better than the last one? It will work, Leslie. Spanky knows his stuff. He and I have designed a foolproof plan. More like a foolish plan? What's that, Leslie? Oh, nothing. And what's different this time? Disguise is. Sure wish you thought of that last time. What's done is done, Leslie. Go on, Spanky. Right. Guys, meet Richie. He's going to be your getaway driver. Now here's the plan. You guys are going to pretend to be sick. Real sick. Sick? Sick with what? The furry flu. It's a new strain that, that affects animals. I'm going to say to Ruffy Carriage, we have to get these five to the animal hospital. Ruffy will agree because he's scared of the furry flu. F f furry flu? Uh, get them to the animal hospital, stat! That's where Richie comes in. He drives an animals for the animal hospital. I'll call him. He'll arrive and rush you guys out of there. Then just as the animals is about to get to the highway, it's hijacked by animal poachers. Poachers? Relax, Michael. They're not going to be real poachers. It'll be goofball and sloppy in disguises. Again with the disguises. Yes, again with the disguises. They're important. Do you know why you guys got caught the last time? Hmm. I don't know. Why? Because we didn't have disguises. Trunk for brains. Oh. Let's just say in the real world, the circuit samples stick out like a sore thumb. Good point. Hey, how did we go so long without being noticed last time? Let's not worry about old stuff, Mike. Anyway, Goop Boy and Slappy will load you in the van and drive you to the city. In the van, you guys will get some costumes. Get dressed, and then you blend into society. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Uh, no offense, but are you guys sure you don't want to put together some better disguises? Oh look everybody, Michael the Sheriff wants to gloat about how great his disguise is and how horrible ours are. Oh, come on Neil, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. There are a lot of great disguises in there. Enough, Michael, you think you're so smart. Oh, look at me, I'm Michael the Super Professional Shift Manager at Taco Queen. Hey, I'm proud of my work in management. Anyone can manage a Taco Queen, a monkey could do it. Hey, I am a monkey and I find that comment very offensive. Whatever, I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm gonna march in there with my disguise in land a job as a manager and I guarantee I'll do a better job than you did. Bye by me, I'm going to start my own business. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I think Michael can do anything he sets his mind to. Thanks, Elliot. Alright, guys, we have 
have to get back to the circus before anyone notices we're gone. My brother owns this building. He said that you guys can stay there for a while until you get situated. Here are the keys. Oh boy, thanks. Oh, oh boy, boy, thanks. So we were free, and I was determined to make a splash on the stand-up comedy scene. Given a little time, I was certain the world would realize just how brilliant I was. So, kid, I'm sorry. What did you say your name was again? Sammy. The name's Sammy. Right, Sammy. You ready for your debut, son? Haha, <laughs> does a bear have control issues? Come again? Uh, nothing. Just a saying that we have where I'm from. Right. And where are you from again? Who, me? I'm, uh, I'm from Albany, New York. You seem real familiar. You sure we haven't met before? We, uh, what? Met before? No, sir. I would definitely remember meeting a gentleman as distinguished as yourself. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, you should be fine. Try not to bomb up there. We had this one fella a little while back that stunk up the stage something awful. What was his name again? Hmm. Simon. Simon the Tiger. <sighs> what was that, son? Nothing. Well, okay. Ronnie's wrapping up. I'm going to introduce you, pal. Yeah, you do that, pal. Yay! Hey everyone, give it up for Ronnie Cunningham. I'm your host, Pauly, and this is the Comedy Club. Coming next to the stage, give a warm round of applause for a new comedian. This is his debut, so don't be too hard on him. Introducing Sammy Slapstick. Yay! Here goes nothing. Bingo. So, um, Janet, is it? Yes, or you can call me Ms. Jackson. Right, Janet Jackson. Well, Janet, tell me a little bit about why you want to be a librarian here at the town library. I had to leave my last position for reasons beyond my control. Leslie, I don't think you're cut out to be a librarian. Have you ever thought about working as a coach or a construction worker? Maybe you could be a gym teacher. Anything except a librarian. But I just couldn't stay away from library work. I love it too much. Plus, I've learned a lot from my experiences. Well, that is good to hear. Personal growth is important. Library work requires calm energy and an even temperament. Would you say that these characteristics describe you? Oh, yes, Mrs. Sanders. They certainly do. Hmm. Okay, Janet. I have a good feeling about you, and we happen to have an opening. When can you start? I can start today if you want. Boosting! No, man, man! Boosting! I wouldn't know hell what company when they see it. <laughs> I'm so hurt! That act was terrible. I swear I've seen that fella somewhere before. <laughs> I can't believe I bombed again. Could Leslie and Neil be right? Maybe I am a terrible comedian. I feel so lost. If I don't do comedy, what will I do with my life? Music. Where is that beautiful music coming from? Hey, hey. I think I found my calling. Thank you, Mr. Pennyworth. You won't regret hiring me, sir. Glad to have you aboard, son. Welcome to the team. Go see Annie to begin your training. Hey, bud. How's it going? You, uh, working here? Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to work here and take business classes at night. Why do you ask? Just curious. Can't a guy show a little interest in his friend's life? Uh, okay. So how's the comedy going, Simon? It's Sammy. Sammy Snell. Anyway, comedy is so 2009. I'm starting up a band. Um, a band? Do you play any instruments? Don't worry about that. 
I'm a natural talent, my friend. Uh, okay. Anywho, old buddy, old pal, say, why don't you put in a good word with your boss? Tell him you're friends with an up-and-coming superstar. Let him know he be crazy not to give me and the boys a gig playing here. Do you even have a band yet? Don't worry about that, Chief. Once I put the call out, every musician in the state will be drawn to me like a magnet. Just get me a gig and watch the magic happen. <sighs> So, you're the librarian, huh? Yes, I'm Miss Jackson. Nice to meet you. Ooh, the friendly type. Hopefully more friendly than that last librarian. So, what's the plan? We have to get her fired. What are you kids ah! talking about? We were, uh, just, uh, uh, talking about lions, our favorite carnivorous regal feline. The Queen of the African Serengeti. Well, thank you. At least someone appreciates me. Whew! We should go find Miss Sanders right now. Of course I'm friendly. Is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for eye cassettes. A uh, Pacific one, in fact. Uh, I forgot the title! It's okay. Take your time. I remember now. Why clowns are evil? Farm two. Let me see if we have it. I'm sorry, we don't seem to have it right now. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, yes. There's also a DVD I want to get. Fine Fantasy 7 Special Edition. I'll check, James. Hmm. I don't remember telling her my name. Oh, yes. It's on the second floor. Follow me. Okay. There's something familiar about that librarian that I just can't put my finger on. Alright, listen up. I don't like to repeat myself. My name is Neil. Neil Armstrong. I want you to take a close look at this name badge. Do you know what it means? Um, that you're the new shift manager at Taco Queen? That's right. No goofing off. No tardiness. No stealing. And absolutely no humming. I hate humming. Feels like there's... Bees in my brain. Wait, did you say no humming? None whatsoever. What about whistling, sir? You know, whistling while we work? Absolutely not. Any other questions? Um, sir, what's with the uniform change? I don't mean to be critical, but these things are straight out of the Brady Bunch. Tell me about it. The 1970s called them. They want their uniformers back. Enough. Uniform changes are a management decision. Raise your hands if you're a manager. No, really. Go ahead, raise them. Hmm, I didn't think so. Well, I'm managing not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny, ladies? No, sir. Mr. Holmstrong, you seem a little high strong. My uncle is a counselor. Do you want his number? Do I look like I need counseling? Just get back to work. Psst. Bev, um, can I have that, uh... Can I have your uncle's number? Uh, excuse me, officer. I'm late for a job interview. Can you tell me how to get to State and Broadway? Sure, no problem, buddy. All you do is take a left at- Whoa! Elephant! <laughs> Officer, I assure you I'm a human being just like you. Everyone knows that elephants don't wear glasses and hats. Yeah, anything you say, boss. Uh, I'm gonna need some units downtown at Broadway and Clinton. Elephant. Yes, again. Look, just send backup. Lots of backup. What gave me away? It was the trunk, wasn't it? Um, the trunk, the tusks, you weigh about four tons. Uh, do you want me to go on? No, sir. Man, nobody's here yet. Hmm. 
They must be stuck in that awful rush hour traffic. Oh man, I can't wait to choose some bandmates and start rocking. Wow, guess they're still stuck in that traffic. Hate to break it to you, Tiger, but nobody's coming. It's just us. What? Who are you? I'm Ellie. Ellie the Owl. And I'm Wally the Wolf. We're your new band, Tiger. Why do you keep calling me Tiger? I'm a human, man. Just look at these threads. Tigers don't wear clothes. Heh heh heh. That cheap costume might fool humans, but not me. What gave me away? You said, tough guy. I'm a wolf, and the nose never lies. You smell. Like a tiger. Oh, so you guys want to be in my new band, huh? I don't know. There's a lot of competition. Right. We had to elbow our way through the crowd. Tell me about it. Everyone's trying to get in. They are? I mean, of course they are. Everyone is trying to get into the sewer. Sure they are, tiger. So what do you say? Are we in the band? Ellie, Willie, I'm proud to announce that you two are in the band. Welcome to the sewer system. Woohoo! You guys are definitely going to need some disguises. We'll leave the disguises up to you, boss. Say, you got a name, Tiger? It's Sammy. Sammy Snell. You won't regret this, Sammy. Uh, do you guys, like, play any instruments? Hey kids, you three can come in, but he's not allowed in here. Hey man, I'm sorry about the stealing, okay? I'm not talking about the stealing. Wait, stealing? What stealing? Oh, um, nothing? You're not allowed in because of the huge food fight you started yesterday. Oh, come on! Can't you please let me eat? I'm hungry here! Hmm, I don't know. Maybe if I could speak to the presidents. You know, the dead presidents? Bribery? <sighs> How much? Fifty. Fifty? I'm a teenager. I don't have that kind of cash. Maybe I'll take my business to Pizza Joe's. <sighs> Alright, twenty dollars. Well, you drive a hard bargain. Alright, deal. Pay up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. Got change for a hundred? Hold on. Here you go. $40 change. That doesn't sound right. Aren't I supposed to get more? Hey, I think you need to work on your subtraction, comprende? Yeah, I got it. I'm going to the restroom. I'll be back with my order. Don't fall in. Hello, Neil. Nice uniform. Yeah, yeah. You're holding up the line. What's your order, Leslie? <laughs> Leslie? Who's Leslie? My name is Janet. Janet Jackson. Oh, yeah. Now, what's your order, Janet? I'll have a large zebra taco. We don't have zebra tacos, just what's on the menu. No zebra? Lucky for you, I'm working on my temper. Hey, you're working on your temper? That's rich. I'm gonna take my anger and wall it up inside where it can't hurt anyone. May I please have a dear taco? Oh, for Pete's sake. Chicken or beef, those are your choices. Uh, five, give me 20 soft chicken tacos. Wow, will that be all greedy? I'm starving. Working at the live here with those kids all days makes me hungry. Oh, cry me a river. I've been on my feet all day. Anyway, that would be $30.57. Jeez, this is extortion here. Thank you. Pick up your order down there. Next. Uh, sir? Someone had an accident in the bathroom. You're going to need a big mop. Steve, clean them in the men's room. Ha. Huh. This is why they pay me the big box. I have a jumbo cola and a chalupi. $9.99. Keep the change, my good man. One cent? Wow, thanks. Wait down there till your number is called. Oh, hi, Miss Jackson. Getting some food, too? Hello, James. We just keep running into one another, huh? So, how's that order coming? Wait till your number is called. So, Miss Jackson, tell me, what made you want to work at the library? 
Well, aren't you full of questions, young man? I got into library work because I love kids in books. Oh, that's nice. I feel much safer with you working here than I did with that crazy dangerous lion. So lovely weather we're having today. Yeah, lovely spring weather. Why don't you guys continue this little meteorology discussion at that table? You're holding up the line. Next! So, how'd you get caught this time, Elliot? Wrong place, wrong time. I was on my way to a job interview, and some cop cracked the case. I heard you were only wearing a hat and some glasses. Worst disguise ever. I don't know about that. Say, do you think I was too bulky to pull it off? No, elephants and humans are very similar in stature. Elliot, how did you get back here? I don't want to talk about it. I told you an elephant can't blend into society. Be quiet, you hurt his feelings. You clown sure like to speak to those animals a lot. And you elephant, don't get any more ideas about escaping or I'll use your trunk as my luggage. <laughs> You know, I really don't like that guy. Here you go, ma'am. Ah! What the heck, Simon? Aren't you glad to see me, pal? Look, I'm really busy. Can't talk right now. Aw, oh, come on. It's your old pal. So, did you schedule a gig for my band? I just serve coffee. I don't make those kind of decisions. Well, well. Michael the manager is just a lowly coffee clown. Who does a guy have to talk to around here to get a gig? Come back tomorrow after two and ask Mr. Pennyworth. Fine, I'll come back tomorrow. No respect for a superstar. I gotta get back to work, Simon. Wait a minute. Go get me a super ultra mega mocha cafe grande cappuccino latte. Hold the milk and uh, put it on my tab. <sighs> I'm telling you, the PS3 is better than the Xbox 360. Hands down. It is not. The 360 has better graphics. Yeah, and the red ring of death. Does not, and you smell. Do does too, and I took a shower last week. That explains a lot, Stinky. You explain a lot. What does that even mean? Hey guys, check out these dinosaur books. Did you know that Brachiosaurus means arm lizard in Greek? Do they have opposable thumbs? Of course not. Then how do they play video games? They didn't. They were prehistoric creatures. It's all in these books. Books? Who comes to the library to read books? Uh, me. Well, excuse me. An important debate is taking place here. Have fun. Now, where was I? Oh yes, I was saying how wrong Melissa was. I'm not, you're wrong. Hey you kids. Um, will you please lower your voices? Other children are trying to read, thank you. I love to lower my voice, but I won't be able to interpret my agrees that the PS3 is better than the Xbox 360. I will not. I would never spend my money on a PS3. I asked you kids politely. Now stop arguing before you see my angry side. Yes, yes Mr. Jackson. 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 Thank you. Hmm. There's something familiar about that exchange. What is this Farmville nonsense and why are these people asking me for a sheep? Um, Mr. Armstrong, I think you better come up front. There's a situation. Can this wait? I'm doing important miniature stuff. I'm afraid I can't, sir. There's a crazy guy out here trying to rob the place using a banana. Oh, for crying out loud. I has bare hands and squirrels trampling all over me and I ain't gonna take it.
Sir, please put the banana down. I don't think it's loaded. I has a half of an octopus, eight sides squared. Wow, he is nuts. Hey, you, hand over the banana. Make me, Dinky. You can pry my lasagna from my cold dead hands. Maybe I wait. Wait, what? What does that even mean? Hey, my top, I'm just waiting on that cash. Whistle while you work. <laughs> I mean, not in my restaurant. That's against store policy. You're in trouble now, wait, guy. Wait, Don't no! you ever, ever, ever come around me again. Ah! Hey, that. This guy has bear like strength to make him strong. In Ow, that. Ow, my face. Ow, my back. You're in a world of hurt now. And in local news, a shift manager at a local Taco Queen restaurant displayed his bravery today as he subdued a would-be robber, a rather hairy fellow with a familiar name. Neil Armstrong had this to say. I'm a manager. That means people are looking to me for leadership and protection. So I saw a situation and I reacted. He came into my restaurant threatening my customers with produce unacceptable. At first I thought Mr. Armstrong was pretty lame, and I guess I still do, but I gotta admit, that was pretty impressive when he went a whole Hogan on that crazy dude today. I once saw a Bear Mall guy when I was camping. What Mr. Armstrong did to that guy today was just like that. I didn't know a person hand could go so far back. He looked like a pretzel. The purpose 31-year-old Wiley Murdoch, a disgruntled chef who was recently fired for yelling at sandwiches. Do I consider myself a hero? Absolutely! But I'm much more than a hero. I'm a hero, a manager, in a movement. And I'm here to keep you safe. Excuse me one minute. Steve, you better not be chewing gum back there. No respect for a hero. Make sure you get my good side. Well, he clearly doesn't have any self-esteem problems. An amazing case of bravery from a rather loud fellow. I don't believe it. Neil's parading around out there like a superstar, while I'm locked up with a bunch of animals and circus freaks. Hey! Oh, sorry, Julia. <laughs> You're right, though. That Neil doesn't know how to keep his mouth shut. Plus, his costume was almost as bad as yours was. Hey! What, I'm just saying. Whatever. He's gonna get caught if he doesn't quit grandstanding. Ugh, I hope not. It's so nice and peaceful in here without him and Leslie. You know what your problem is, Jerry? You're too acclimated to captivity. Doesn't it make you mad being in here? Not really. To tell the truth, I'm pretty lazy. If I was out in the wild, I'd have to find my own food, duck, lions, and other predators. In the circus, I do a few dumb tricks, get fed every day. It's not that bad. Spoken like a true captive. I'm not going to take this lying down. I'm gonna... Lunch time, fellas. All, All right, right lunch. lunch! Oh, man. You believe Neil? What's he doing with his face all over the TV? What part of low profile does he not understand? Hey, guys. You see me in the news? Oh, we saw it all right. We saw you drawing attention to yourself, and we saw that cashier comparing you to a bear. A bear? Do you have any idea how hot you're making it for us right now? Oh, here we go. I knew you clowns were going to be jealous. How typical. Heroes like myself often face jealousy and envy. Jealous? Nobody's jealous, Neil. We just don't want to draw attention to ourselves. I can't go back to that circus. I can't. When heroes such as myself are faced with a dangerous situation, there's no time to think. And now that I'm a celebrity, you guys can't handle it. I give up. You're impossible. <laughs> yeah, impossibly heroic. Look, could you just try to ease up on the media appearances? It's not in our best interest to draw attention to ourselves. Can't make any promises, man. The people can't get enough of a hero. Hero? All you did was beat up a chef who is holding a banana. I'm not going to let you guys ruin this. 
for me, Leslie. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go prepare for a press conference. Press, press conference? conference? This is not good. Uh, hello? Anybody home? Uh, I could really use some assistance. Maybe I'll go use the computers. What the heck? So you let me access sites about riots. Uh, I'll go look at the DVDs. Hmm. There's nothing here but copies of Lion King. What is going on here? Maybe I'll check the magazines. Nothing but National Geographic Special Edition on Lions. What is it about Lions around here? Uh, ah! Get away from me, you lion! Ah! Lions! Tigers! Bears! Oh my! Leave me alone! Again with the lion in the library dream. I wonder if my dreams are trying to tell me something. Hmm. That smell. Pancakes? 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 Pancakes, 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 pancakes. I love pancakes. Uh. Hey guys, what's going on? I just saw Iron Man 2. It was awesome. Um, what's Iron Man 2? What's Iron Man 2? What's Iron Man 2? Are you serious? Please tell me you're joking. I mean, you must be lying. Yeah, you... Wait, lion? Lion? Lion! That's it! That's what my dreams are trying to tell me! Miss Jackson is really Miss Lion! That's why she seems so familiar, and that's why I had a deja vu. Vu! What? Vu! It's deja vu! Yeah, yabba dabba do to you too. I gotta go. I gotta speak with the police. This is serious. I don't believe this. Are you guys ready to rock? We sure are. I was born to rock, Tiger. Just point me at that stage. Hi, friend. We're performing tonight, so if you'll kindly show me to my dressing room... Ha ha. Yeah, that's real funny, pal. But you know I can't let you in here with your pets. Uh, pets? These are people, sir. Just look at their garments. What are you, a comedian? Well, actually... Look, you can come in, but they stay outside. Don't give me a hard time, buddy, okay? Sorry, guys. Looks like I'm going to have to do this gig solo. What? You're abandoning us? The show must go on, friend. Hey! If you turn your back on us, you'll have to regret it, Sammy. Toodles! <laughs> So, Spanky, it's a shame what happened. You know, with those animals escaping and all. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. You guess? All those heartbroken children who came to see Leslie the Lion, Simon the Tiger, and Neil the Bear leaving in disappointment, it's awful. Yeah, whatever. Say, you seem to be pretty close with those animals, Spanky. This must have hit you really hard. Sure, Lawrence. Anyway, we're talking about some really important clown business. Yeah, we're looking at my act. Yes, your act. But yes, our act. Talk to you later, Lawrence. You certainly will. <laughs> you certainly will. <laughs> you know. I really don't like that guy. Be cool, you guys. Animals have rights too, Jerry. What's that, elephant? Nothing. Why not doing anything, Mr. Ringmaster, say? Why are you just resting up for tomorrow's show? Gotta please the fans. 
That's what I like to hear, giraffe. I've got my eye on you, elephant. <laughs> you believe this guy? We have to do something. What can we do? I'll think of something. I'll think of something. Hi, welcome to Tackle Queen, home of Neil the Hero. Would you like to try our new Neil Hero sandwich? Say what now? What's in that sandwich? Everything about the kitchen sink. Uh, no thank you. I'm just gonna go with the beef taco. Hello, you're the brave here. Think of recalling Taco Queen. Hello, Neil. This is Ron from the corporate office. Did you really name a taco after yourself? Of course I did, and it's a sandwich, by the way. I put everything in it but the kitchen sink. Um, yeah, about that. New tacos are a corporate decision. You don't have the authority to do that. Ha! Huh. Good one, Ron. Did you watch the news? I'm a hero. Yes, I did. Good for you. You still can't make that kind of decision without our permission. Look, Ron, people love my sandwich and people love a hero. Look, you're not a hero. Anyone can stop a little guy waving a piece of fruit. I'm a hero and that's that. I don't have time for this. Hey, Amy, did you get that banner up yet? Yes, Mr. Armstrong. <laughs> Excuse me? <sighs> yes, Mr. Armstrong, your majesty. This is crazy. We don't have to call you that. Oh, yes, you do. What's that? Who's doing that? Doing what? You didn't hear that humming. There it is again. I'm warning you. Whoever's doing that, stop now. We don't hear anything, sir. Don't hear anything? Liars. Ugh. Feels like there's... Bees in my head. Stop humming! I'll teach you to hum in my restaurant! I hate humming! That's against your policy! <laughs> Ralphie? I'd like to have a word with you. Uh, hi, Ellie. What do you, all of you guys, um, want? Freedom, Ralphie. We want to talk about freedom. Freedom? Freedom. Oh, my dairy queen, red. wanna be starting something, wanna be starting something. I weep aloud, and I weep aloud, and I weep aloud. Oh, you're a terrible young story. Yeah, you can't real. Oh, this is awful, man. You guys are the worst audience that I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, we're probably the only audience you've ever seen. Shut up. Who needs you? Leave me alone. Uh, oh, yeah, run away. Run away, you lost. That guy's the most horrible singer i ever seen. Oh, well, back to my coffee. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, oh, bunch of jerks! They don't know real talent! Hey, Siren, don't let it get you down. I was good, wasn't I, Mikey? You were... Mmm, okay. Yeah, you're right. I was great. Yeah, okay, I gotta get back to work now. I'll show them. Everyone is envious of a star. Hurry up! It's ringing. Hey, hello. Anderson here. Ah, uh, yes. Is this the police? I'd like to report a tiger on the loose. Right. A tiger. Look, I just got off the phone with some kid that said there's a lion loose in the city. You guys aren't trying to pull some kind of prank, are you? Oh, no, sir. This is all true. He's hiding out at 390 East Newton Drive with a bunch of other animals. I think you'll find your lion there, too. All right, buddy. We'll look into it. By the way, what's your name? I'm just a concerned citizen, making an anonymous call, sir. You're welcome. Hey, <laughs> hey, got you now, Tiger. You should have never crossed us. <laughs> huh, that's the second call today about wild animals on the loose in the city. Yeah, well, I've been looking into the alleged hijacking of that ambulance. 
That elephant you arrested wasn't alone. Witnesses put a lion, tiger, bear, and monkey also in that ambulance. All of them unaccounted for. Yeah, sounds like our animals all right. We have an address, 390 East Newton Drive. Let's go check it out, partner. Whoa, whoa, get your priorities straight. Donut run? Donut run. Let's do it. Look, Ralphie, we were meant to be free. And one way or another, we're leaving this circus today. <sighs> You're right, Elliot. I always feel a little conflicted about running the circus. I mean, I love the circus biz, but deep down I feel bad about keeping you all in captivity. Ray, so you agree? We need to let them loose. Well, yes, but the circus business is all I know. How am I going to make a living in the circus business without my star animals? I'm glad that you asked. We've already thought about that. If you look at this business proposal that we've written up, I'm sure you'll agree we can form a partnership that will be profitable for all of us. Hmm, interesting. You know, this just might work. So, things weren't looking good for the animal gang. Who could have guessed that Willie the Wolf would turn out to be a rat? Simon, Neil, and Michael were all headed home just as the police were closing in on the hideout. Neil was furious after losing his job, and Simon's faltering career in music had him down in the dumps. Michael, on the other hand, was feeling wonderful. His hard work was paying off as he learned the ins and outs of the business world. He was on his way to a bright future. That is, if the police didn't rain on his parade. They don't know talent when they see it. I bet all of the greats got booed off stage their first time. Ah, who am I kidding? How many robberies does a guy have to stop? I really did stink. What am I good at? Failed at comedy? Failed at rock? Hey, maybe I'll try pop music. Get a boy band to back me up. A little auto-tune? Show a little chest fur? Yeah! Once we're going, Michael, I'm not having a good day. Sorry to hear that, Nia. What's wrong? Oh, no you don't. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Uh, okay. Hey, share up. We're almost home. I'll make us some waffles. Waffles? Deal. Hey. It's the fuzz. They're going to our place? Aw oh, man. Hey guys, what's wrong with you two? Five-o, that's what. Let's shake the spa. Anderson, here they go! Hey yo! Stop! Make us copper. Hey, you're gonna pay for making me run! You guys keep going. I'll distract them. Thanks, Mike. You see some animals and costumes come through here? I certainly did. They went that away. Wait, that away? That away. Thanks, buddy. I shouldn't have had that extra eclair. <sighs> he did it! Michael got that off our tails. I guess he did put together a better disguise. Whatever, man. I'm sick of hearing about Michael in his great disguise. Let's get out of here. Where will we go? I don't know. We can't go back to the hideout. Let's get out of the city, hide in the woods for a while, and wait for this to blow over. What a day! <laughs> Ah! Dead end! It looks like they shook us! Yeah. Well, we still have another lead. Kid that called us earlier said we can find the lion at the library. Then what are we waiting for? So remember next time all you have to do is press Control alt delete Wow! Thanks, Miss Jackson! You're the best librarian ever! Aw, oh, thank you, sweetheart. Hi, Leslie. I just wanted to say you are doing a wonderful job. Thank you, Miss Sanders. Wait! Why did you call me Leslie? My name is Janet, Janet Jackson. It's okay, Leslie. I knew that it was you the minute that you sat down for your interview. You did? And why did you hire me? 
I just had a good feeling about you. I could tell that you were sincere when you said that you'd learn from your experiences, and I believe that everyone deserves a second chance. You do? Yes, I do. Oh, thank you. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. There's some strange liquid stuff dripping out of my eyes. Those are tears, Leslie. You're allowing yourself to feel your emotions. I feel so much better now that I've let go of my anger. It's like I've taken my life back. I'm happy and I've even started to like Kit. You get what have I done? She's, she's so nice and I went and called the cops on her. What am I gonna do? Oh, I gotta make this right! Uh, hi! Uh, Miss, I mean, Miss Jackson! Um, it's so... I kind of messed up. <laughs> How so, James? Well, uh, okay. Wow. This is embarrassing. So, I, uh... So you're gonna think this is funny. Well, actually, you probably won't be that amused. It's okay, James. You can tell me. So, okay. So... I may have accidentally called the cops because you're lying. Don't hurt me! You, you what? what? I'm so sorry. I thought you were dangerous the last time you worked here. But but then you you came back. I thought you were human. I got to know you. I you turned to be nice. But then yeah, I realized you're lying. I freaked out. I called the cops. Please forgive me. Don't eat me. For crying out loud, did this disguise fool anybody? You have to get out of here. I told them you'd be here. It'll probably be on their way. Where will I go? My uncle has a cabin in the woods. I can take you there. You two go through the back door. I'll stall the police when they get here. Thank you, Miss Sanders. You're welcome. And Leslie, you were one heck of a librarian. Uh, hello, ma'am. We got a call about a lion dressed as a librarian. You, uh, notice anything strange around here? A lion, you say? I assure you we haven't employed any lions. Any of your librarians have razor-sharp teeth, big ears, and or any other lion-like characteristics? Oh, you might be thinking of the new girl. She's no lion. She is a bit furry. It's a medical condition. She's pretty embarrassed about it. Sheesh. I would be, too. I think my aunt had that. Okay, sorry to bother you. Say, uh, did you get the new, uh, novel in yet? I'm sorry. I didn't hear the author's name. Oh, um... <clears throat> Uh, what? what was that? Oh, uh, Beauvoir. Do you have the new Audrey Beauvoir novel? Oh, you mean Lavender Sunrise. I'll check the computer. Audrey Beauvoir, huh? I didn't know you read romance novels, Anderson. It's not for me. It's, uh, it's for my wife. Right. For your wife. So, several members of the gang were forced to become fugitives. Simon and Neil fled to the woods where they eventually stumbled upon the cabin that James and Leslie were using as a hideout. Bam! Bam. Damn it, Sam. Sam. Sam! Coming up next, Elliot and the gang are at it again on Animal Real World. Hey guys, come here. You gotta see this. Bah! What is it? You gotta see this to believe it. Is that Elliot on TV? Yup. Elliot and the whole circus. Last time on the Animal Real World, who drank my stinking soda? Billy, if you drank my soda, we're gonna have serious problems. I drank the soda. I am so tired of this house. You know, reality TV has really made me a much nicer guy. Why do you get a bigger room than me? Because I call dibs. Yes, no, yellow. But I'm an elephant! I'm not listening. La, 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 la. This is the story of 20 animals and clowns picked to live in a house and have their lives taped. Find out what happens when they stop being polite. And start being real. Animal Real World, Los Angeles. No way. Well, I see it, and I still don't believe it. You mean to tell me we're holed up in a tiny cabin in the woods and these clowns are parading around on TV in LA? Wow, that really must sting for you guys. I mean, you're fugitives here, and here they are! Celebrities. James, dear. Yes? Not helping. I have a lit cell phone number. Maybe he can get us on the show. Hello? 
What's he saying? Hold your horses and swinging. Hello? Ah, how's it going, old buddy? Who is this? Haha, <laughs> very funny, friend. It's Neil. Anyway, I was watching your reality show, and I think it's great. The only thing it needs is more me. Yeah. Neil, did you say your name was? Listen, if you want to audition for next season, send a five-minute videotape. The address and instructions are on the website. Instructions on the webs? Are you serious? What, you went all Hollywood on us? Let me tell you something, pal. I know a little bit about being a celebrity. I'm a famous hero in Did I Let It Go To My Head? Well, actually, you did. Yeah, you sure did. Nobody asked you to! Well, this really has been a great conversation, Ned. But I have a massage and pedicure appointment in five minutes, so if you'll excuse me... Elliot, if you hang up this phone... buh bye now. Arr! Hey, look! Michael's on TV, too! And in local news, entrepreneur Michael Merriweather is expanding his wildly popular Michael's Cafe. The response has been overwhelming. Everyone has shown so much support. I'm proud to announce it will be over a new location downtown. Michael, what do you think the reason is for your runaway success? Hard work and focus. To my friends who said I would fail. I won't say I told you so. Wow, successful and gracious. That Elliot, he's going to pay for turning his back on us. So, what do we do now? We get revenge. That's what. Uh, okay. Do you have a plan? Not really. I was hoping you had something. Revenge? Evil scheme? Just leave it up to me. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to like this kid. <laughs> <laughs> And clowns pick to live in a house and have their lives taped. Find out what happens when they stop being polite. They start being real. Animal Real World, Los Angeles. Last time on the Animal Real World. You know, reality TV has really made me a much nicer guy. Hi, I'm Fair Dog. You need to wash the dishes, really, and get out of my way. Really never washes the dishes. I've got the biggest crush on Julia. Other people can't see what I see. I can see past the beard to the beautiful person within. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it that night. I'm really busy. I need to wash my beard. Why you gotta be like that, girl? Jerry just can't take a hint. He's a nice guy and all, but he's way too tall for me. I usually date shorter guys. work. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, how's it going? My name's Benjamin Isaac Bramler, or Ben for short, and there is no I mean, this movie was the biggest laughing something funny, ladies! No, sir. Mr. Armstrong, you seem a little high strong. My uncle is a counselor, do you want his number? Do I look like I need counseling? Just get back to work! Bev, um, can I have that, uh, can I have your uncle's number? Hi, my name is James and you need and I, uh, play this, play that red shirt guy over there. Hey, James. Ironic, isn't it? It's okay, James, you can tell me. So, okay, so, I may have accidentally called the because you're lying. Don't hurt me! You, you what? what? We, we, I did a, a, a lot in the writing department and the, and the, and the story. Although, Mark has helped. <laughs> I am Bruce Williams and I did most of the background work for the movie. I designed the uh, sets, moved the characters, and I used the camera too. Oh, hey guys, um, I'm Tyler Cronk. I did a lot of voices in Circus Tales too. I, w I was uh, Willie the Wolf. And Steve, the guy that worked at uh, Taco Queen. And I was also Wally Murdoch, the guy that tried to rob Taco Queen using a banana. And I was also the voice of uh, Ralphie Carriage, the owner of the circus. And I was also the voice of Chad Wilstein, the Channel 5 News reporter. I'm a wolf, and the nose never lies. You smell like a tiger. Would you like to try our new Neil Hero sandwich? I has bare hands and squirrels trampling all over me, and I ain't gonna take it. <laughs> You're right, Elliot. I always feel a little conflicted about running the circus. Well, he clearly doesn't have any self-esteem problems. An amazing case of bravery from a rather loud fellow. Hi, I'm, I'm Steve Wayne, and I, I also do a lot of work on movies. Everyone knows that elephants don't wear glasses and hats. Yeah, anything you say, boss. Uh, I'm gonna need some units downtown at Broadway and Clinton. Elephant. Yes, again. I'm still the voice of Mr. Bear, who gets a job as Ninja Taco Queen. Hates humming. Absolutely no humming. I hate humming. Feels like there's bees in my brain. Wait, did you say no humming? None whatsoever. Hi, my name is Anthony Bottolato, and I help make circus sales. 
I uh, work on Circus Tales 1 and 2. Also, I did like some character movement in uh, Circus Tales 1, like where I kind of like like um, moved the uh, like animals and people, and like we took pictures. The movie was a big project. <laughs> Guys, is sure wish you thought of that last time. I really enjoy working. Like with the character start center video class, it's it, it's just been fun overall. So yeah, I did have fun. How did I have fun? By being myself, making some friends, and doing this this claymation movie. I hope you really have fun. Till next time, this is Ben Brimler sing Seekers Later. are natural predators of the New York environment.